I think so, because what is important is the growth rate to revive, investment has to pick up. And for investment to pick up, what is needed is public investment should go up. The government has to restructure its expenditure. There are lots of things that are happening, like subsidy regime re reform. Many infrastructure projects are clogged up. If they can start it off, sentiments improve, investment can go up, and what you need is an efficient and honest administrator. So the expectation of the people is another government, whatever form it may be, which will deliver on those fronts. Because India, if you remember, everyone believes that the long-term potential is very high and has been underperforming. 5% by historic standards is not bad, but what people expect is 10%. It needs its roads, it needs its power supply, it needs its water supply, electricity. So infrastructure is a fail-safe sector where India has to reform and make sure people make money and investments come in. And apart from that, I believe foreign direct investment is coming in right now in financial services, uh, ports, telecom, IT, pharmaceutical. I think it's always better to get in early rather than late. Of course, the risk is there. What if the expectations are not realized? Growth has to improve. And if growth improves, valuations will improve. So Japan and Korea are strong partners of India. And now many of those brands, brands like LG, Sony, Hyundai, Honda, are well known in India. They're household names. And now I'm surprised to find even in Gurgaon where I live, some Korean and Japanese young men and women working there. Previously, Japanese and Korean restaurants were a rarity. Now it's all there. So th these two countries, their demographic pattern is very different from India. Their foreign exchange situation and their technology is also different. So there's a lot of synergy. Prime Minister Wen Jiabao went and Dr. Manmohan Singh, our Prime Minister, they made a joint statement that we need to develop bilateral trade. Bilateral trade is around, I think, $75 billion in 2012. They set a target of $100 billion. What India has is a trade deficit with China. So India needs to export more to China. And if China does well, Indian exports will do well.